Hi everyone, I'm Kat Pengeli, Community and Engagement Manager for Lean Agile Global 2021. In the lead up to the live virtual conference taking place on 24th and 25th May this year, I will be introducing you to some of the fantastic speakers that we have in our upcoming lineup. Today, I am delighted to introduce you to Carol Aribi, GH Enterprise PMO, IC Agile Coach and Organizational Change Leader at Sterling Bank. Welcome, Carol. Delighted to have you here. It's so delightful to be here, Kat. Nice to meet you and yes. nice to meet everyone as well. Amazing. Nice to meet you as well. It's our first time speaking face to face. So, you know, everyone will be uh, meeting both of us for the first time, hopefully. Um, I've prepared five questions for you today. Um, and to start it off, um, potentially a very difficult question. How would you describe yourself in a single tweet? Okay, that's <laughs> interesting. So let me say this. Um, I would describe myself as an intellectual, but I'm not a nerd. <laughs> I like that. I, yeah, I'm a structured person, result oriented, and I'm passionate about execution. I love that. I love passionate about execution. Yeah. You know, that's it's really yes. important that at the very end of the day, what we're trying to do is execute something efficiently and effectively. So I love to hear the word passion exactly. when we're talking about stuff like that. Yeah, it's really important to me. I think ideas don't come to life if you don't execute them properly. Um, somebody said that um, innovation is the combination of ideas and execution. And I really just resonate with that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, so speaking a little bit about the conference then, in your opinion, why do you think people should come and join us virtually at the conference this year? Yeah, I think this is a conference uh, with soul and with diversity. Um, it's about people that don't just know about Agile or talk about Agile. It's about people that have lived Agile. And coming to the conference, you will have that opportunity to interact with these people from different countries, different locations. Um, coming physically, we probably would have had that. You know, people have constraints in terms of travel, time, funds, whatever, you know, but you have that opportunity to be live there from whatever location you're in and join. And I think it's going to be an amazing one. So, please do come. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you for that. And, you know, I love the way you said that it's people that live agile. You know, it's not just people that talk about it and preach about it. It's truly people that experience it and work with it every single day. And so, you know, we hope by bringing these people together that we can get your brains flowing, we can get ideas thinking. And, you know, it's not just the participants that will go away with more knowledge and more experience. It's the speakers as well. You're so right, Kat. And I think I was saying this to you just before we started this talk. And I said, I'm also looking forward to this as a participant beyond just being a speaker today. So. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, that's great. Um, you know, so we mentioned a little bit about it being a global, um, you know, lineup and um, even with the participants as well this year. Um, and that's really because we wanted to ensure that Lean Agile Global um, is as diverse and inclusive of a virtual conference as possible. And so I'd love to know a little bit of what that means to you. Mm -hmm. So diversity and inclusion means allowing different voices opinions and viewpoints come across in a way that is unbiased, right? We can allow people to say what they want to say. We might not necessarily agree with it, but we give them that space and that opportunity to be heard. Yeah. You know, and it's from that mix of different ideas and, you know, viewpoints that we see, we begin to find solutions to the problems we have today. And that for me is the diversity that comes into it. But inclusion means allowing that those voices to be heard in the first place. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, I really like how you said that, you know, whether you agree with it or not, it's allowing people to speak to what's owned by them, you know, the thoughts that, that they truly believe and giving them the space to speak about that, even if they don't fully agree with it. 
All right. Well, that's fantastic. Um, so my next question then, why should people come to your talk at the conference this year? Okay. Um, so I'll be speaking about, you know, middle managers and their future in the post-COVID world. And I, I think it's important. And I think the topic is relevant because the role of middle managers has changed. Um, we all talk about the future of work, right? And how it has changed the worker, the workplace, and the work itself. Now, COVID, uh, Aja has some formulas that have resolved for the way the work gets done, which is mostly what we're going to be talking about. Uh, the workplace remote has kind of, COVID has kind of changed the workplace and that is forever changed. But now I want to explore the dynamics of the worker and particularly the role of the middle managers and how this has changed the way they manage the people um, mm -hmm. that, that work with them and how, how they work on, how they're going to be more productive and the fact that they need to them and their function. Um, so we're going to see more middle managers working as coaches. And I'm going to be speaking from my own personal experience. Um, I, you know, started managing a team in my 40s. And, you know, for me, I, I, I feel it's a bit late. I don't know. Maybe by the time I meet other people, I'll know what the experience was like for them. But late in my career, and yes, it was a journey for me. So I'm going to be sharing some of that experience and how I feel it applies to others that are like me and other people that may be going through the same thing. And, you know, just sharing ideas on how we can solve for it together because all these dynamics have really changed the way managers would manage teams going forward yeah so just trying to shine a spotlight on that absolutely and you know i think it's really important right now to talk about the change that covid has created and the situation that you know it's affected everyone's roles and it's amazing that you know you can come as we kind of talked about before before um people that live it that live agile you know and bring in your experiences yeah. into your talk so i think that's going to be really interesting and um hopefully very engaging and enlightening for the people that will be attending your talk Yes, most definitely. <laughs> Good. Amazing. Um, and so my final question for you, um, and this doesn't have to be professionally, it can be personally as well. Um, what are you most looking forward to after COVID has settled down? Well, I'm looking forward to the human interactions, having human interactions back again, uh, bonding with my or you know, it's, uh, it's a bit different dynamics. So I'm looking forward to that ability to be able to hug somebody, <laughs> you yes, know, absolutely. Uh, which I, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And, and I hope that we retain a clean environment. Um, you know, when COVID was on, people at home, the ears were, the air is cleaner. There's yeah. less pollution. Um, so I'm hoping we can retain that. Those are, yeah, those are in that and continue to make the environment clean again, you know, so those are the things I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Oh, amazing. Well, that sounds really yeah. lovely, you know, and you're not the first person that's told me that they're looking forward to a hug. Um, so, so I hope that one day, you know, um, one day it's, it's, it's really, I completely agree with you that, you know, just having that human interaction again is going to be really, really nice. Yeah. We're really looking forward to that. Yeah. And maybe the opportunity to travel and meet some of you guys there too. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Good. Well, you know, thank you so much, Carol. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. We've had so much fun with the Wi-Fi this afternoon, um, but, uh, but I'm really looking forward to having you participate in the conference with us. And I'm really looking forward to, to your talk and, you know, having everyone um, attend and engage with your session. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Kat. It's been a good session. Good night. Good time chatting with you as well. So thank you. Absolutely. <laughs>